Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be doing an encapsulated glitter using a gel. Um, I have seen a lot of people doing glitter encapsulations and I have done a video on acrylic glitter encapsulation before, but I thought I will do a quick demo on how to use it with a hard gel. Gel is a little bit more trickier to use, but I will show you my technique for getting the perfect glitter every time. Now, I am going to do this in a very similar way to my acrylic tutorial. With my acrylic tutorial, I did a layer of, um, well, I said to you do a layer of clear first. You, you are always going to start with a clear layer of builder gel. So pop it your clear layer on very, very thin, cure that in your lamp, and then you're ready for the next step. Now it is up to you whether or not you wanted to put your glitter directly over your clear layer, or if you wanted to use a color. Now for my tutorial, I am going to use a color. Today I'm using Hunting the Light by Nail Perfect, and it is a gorgeous shimmery gel shade. So I'm going to do a thin layer of hunting the light and then we cure that in our LED lamp for 30 seconds okay so once we're cured then we can go and apply our glitter um, as I explained in my last video I do find that the glitter does sort of pop a little bit more when it's over a colored background. So when I do work with gel, I do prefer to use my color layer as, or I do prefer to use, sorry, a hard gel potted color instead of a gel polish. I find it is a little bit easier to apply that way. So I'm just going to wipe the excess of my brush, grab a very small amount of our builder gel. Today's builder gel, sorry, I didn't actually go through it easily. Crystal Gel, also by Nail Perfect. Now this is probably one of our thinnest viscosity gels. Um, and I find that working with encapsulations with this gel works really, really well. Um, but you can use any, any gel you like, as long as it is a thinner viscosity, only because you wanna be able to manipulate it and move it around a fair bit, so. At this point, your brush is going to be quite sticky. So even just dipping it into your glitter, as you can see it's going to stick a whole bunch of little glitter particles on there. And in case anyone was wondering what glitter we are using today, this glitter is Snowman by Glitter Haven. Okay, so similar to our acrylic, I put a thin layer take all the glitter off my brush thin layer of our gel I'm just going to tuck it in at the sides make sure nothing is overhanging on our cuticle area or over our sides pat it all down flat and then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds I find curing it in between instead of trying to get all the glitter on there straight away does work out a little bit easier. What happens is the more gel you add and the more glitter you add, the more mobility it gives it and the more you're sort of sitting there fiddling with it. So I find that when you work with gel, it is a little bit easier to work slowly. So add little bits on, cure or flash cure and then add a little bit more as you go. Um, and what the colored background does, it also helps fill in any little gaps. You are going to have a very difficult time trying to encapsulate a chunky glitter like this, completely covering your nail without seeing your natural under, uh, sorry, without seeing your natural nail underneath. So I find putting a base color down under it that is very similar to the glitter you're using definitely helps again just like how we did in our acrylic tutorial okay so that is the result we've come up with I'm going to cure that again 
I'm gonna give it a full cure. So I'm gonna put that in my LED for 60 seconds. And while that's happening, I'm going to put everything away. I decided to do a tutorial using the chunkier glitters. As I explained, they are a lot more fiddly to use than the finer glitters. Um, I, If you are interested in a tutorial using smaller or finer glitters, I am more than happy to do that. But I thought, let's tackle the harder job first and everything else should come easily. I find that if you are able to encapsulate chunky glitter, then your finer glitter comes, or your fine encapsulation is actually quite easy. So I'm going to now grab some more builder gel. You can use any builder gel you like at this stage, but I'm going to now completely cap. Hopefully. You can see that clearly. Completely cap the nail. The great thing about this type of gel, it self levels, it, it does sit in all your little grooves. So if you have left little gaps, your glitter doesn't sit as flush to the nail, this will completely seal everything. One thing I do need to mention though at this point is if you are working on a client, I, again, I would recommend you working in thin layers. Just putting it upside down. So work in thin layers only because some of these gels do heat spike and because we are encapsulating, we are putting a very, very thick amount of gel in there. Brush. Uh, if you are using a builder gel, make sure that you do know your product, make sure you know how much to put on before you do get a heat spike. At the end of the day, you don't want your clients to be burning their hands. Okay, so we're fully cured. And here is our final result. Normally I would cleanse the inhibition layer at this point, give the shape a quick file, a buff, smooth out the whole design and then re-top coat. I'm not going to do this for today's video only because this is a really lovely glossy gel and you can see the full detail in there. So I will do that off camera. If you have any questions about today's tutorial, please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Again, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, and let me know what videos you may want to see next. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you all in the next video. Bye